What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be an update video to that Fanatics customizable authentics that had issues. So first off, I want to thank everybody that sent me all the information if you had like a screwed up order because man, I ended up making like a really gnarly spreadsheet. It took me like two and a half hours. I gave them all the information, each individual customer, all the pictures attaching it and just trying to make it look nice and presentable. <sighs> Hopefully this works. I ended up sending that spreadsheet and all that information to a person that works at Fanatics that works a little more in the higher up in one of these other divisions. I don't want to put their name out or anything, but also sent it to, towards customer service and a couple other departments that I found their emails for. I just wanted to kind of just hopefully, you know, like I feel like sometimes these things get disregarded, right? So if they pass it off to someone, it doesn't get to who it's supposed to go to. So I tried to like find every person that I can maybe send it out to and hopefully we can make some change or help you guys out with something. It's been about a week now since I sent the message and then I sent a follow up to that person that I was in contact with. He said that he would send it over to purchasing and go from there. So at this point, I don't know if he's telling me the truth or not. He could give me a run around. I don't know for sure, but if you did get one of the crappy custom authentics that you know didn't have, well, didn't have the stitching, right? It looks like faux stitching where they're stitching in the front and then it, there's nothing like stitched onto the jersey. It's kind of like like the uh, Nike replicas for baseball. So it looks like stitching, but when you flip it in, you don't see the stitching. So it's not actually stitched on. I know, crappy quality. It came from, a lot of them were coming from like silver, silver crystal sports or crystal silver sports, whatever. They had like a third party customizing. Uh, <sighs> man, they sucked. I just don't want you guys to just sit and just wait forever and just like, oh man, Mike sent it, hopefully they contact me. Because honestly, knowing how corporate stuff works, like things could just be lost in the shuffle. There's never a guarantee like my message will get out to somebody. Like it's highly unlikely, but I'm hoping something happens. A couple people even messaged me saying that recently they just contacted customer service and they got refunds for a customizable jersey. So normally, the policy is like, hey, you can't get no refunds and stuff like that. It's like all sales are final, but some people have finessed it and actually got that refund. But other people have tried as well and haven't been that fortunate. Like they got a little coupon code. So I think this next step is like, instead of just waiting and hoping someone would message, like I, I gave them, I think it's like 15 people gave me the information. Instead of just waiting, I want you guys to maybe take these little steps to maybe working towards getting something out of it instead of just sitting there and just taking a huge L. If you're one of these people that got one of these bad batches, I want you to kind of think about how you're gonna approach in handling the customer service reps because some people got, you know, they finessed it and they got a refund. Hey, that's good. That's good talking skills or only got a coupon. I also think it just depends on who you get for the customer service rep. If you get somebody on an angry day or that's super strict, it might not work. So I kind of want you to think like how, what's the game plan to approach this customer service rep? Like how am I gonna butter them up to get this refund? With my long experience in customer service, usually people go about it two ways. So either they come in hot and angry and just attack you, or they come in nice, factual, and just, you know, pleasant to deal with. And that usually works a lot better. My recommended way is kind of going with that second option. Like, let's say you're a customer service rep, right? Like put yourself in their shoes. If someone is being an a hole to you why would you help them out right but some people like to do that route and if they're really good at doing that hey props to you go about it your way but for me when i was working in customer service it's like if someone's treating me nice and you know not being disrespectful in any way you know i'm more likely to help them out so i recommend going the route just be nice just be pleasant to deal with i know you're angry especially if you have a, a bad batch you know, you have every right to be angry, but don't take it out on the person that is just trying to handle your situation. And you know, it, it's a tough situation, but you gotta kind of have to like keep that emotion in check. Try to like, just be factual. Be like, hey, the swing man jerseys here. I mean, here's some examples, right? Maybe some talking points you can use. Like let them know like it's an authentic jersey. It's supposed to have stitching, but it has that fake stitching or faux stitching, like it's not actually stitched onto the jersey or whatever issues that happen on your jersey. Like, oh, it's discolored, it's not supposed to be like this or, you know, just come factual and just let them know like, hey, the situation is like for paying 270 bucks, 
the quality is a step down. You, you wanna just be factual, let them know your situation, and hopefully they can empathize with you. As long as you're nice and pleasant to deal with, I feel like more people are um, willing to just help you out and go above and beyond to go help. Even if you go that route, you still gotta stand firm in what you want. Like, you can't just let them dictate like, hey, I'm gonna give you a 25% discount, right? If you just leave it at that, they'll, they'll just take it, right? If you just accept it, they'll be like, all right, cool, done. So maybe ask these hard questions like, hey, is there any way I could get a discount? Like I spent money here, 270 for um, a subpar or like a really bad quality jersey. Like, you know, just gotta let them know and try to ask these hard questions. Like, is there any way I can get a refund or something bigger? You gotta just push a little bit. Don't like push too crazy off the jump. I mean, it depends on how you wanna do it. But I'm just trying to give you a little kind of options that you can use when you do talk to these customer service reps. So just being like, you know, can I get a refund? You gotta ask the hard questions or you know, try to negotiate. If they're just like, hey, I, I can only do a discount. It's like, is there, just gotta let them know. Is there any other possible way like I can get this fixed and stuff like that. I'm not too keen on the hard route where you're just like bashing them, like coming out hot. Like for me, if I was your customer service rep, I'm like, hey, we could do a coupon, that's it. But that's just me. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to be treated how I would treat other people. So, you know, with that, if you're good at that, if you want to come out that way, that's on you. Like, I hope it works. But some people are really good at it. Like, like I said, it just depends on who you get. Let's say you just come out hot. You're just like, hey, I'm real angry. Sometimes they give it to you, right? It happens. So it just depends on what route you want to take. You want to go a little more like pleasant to deal with or harder to deal with. There's no right or wrong way. It's just your style. I like going like the pleasant way. I I feel like in my experience, like, hey, they help me out a little more. At the end of the day, I just want you guys to have a game plan in mind before you start talking to the customer service rep. If you gotta write these notes down and just kind of like have a game plan of what points you want to get across, like, like I said, you gotta be informative and let them know like, hey, it's subpar. This is not how it's usually done. You know, maybe. Just have that in mind just so you don't forget, especially if you call, I don't know, do people still call? But you have that option to call their customer service reps or you could like hit them up on those chats on Fanatics or NBA store. Um, like I said, it just depends on how you wanna go about this, but just keeps that in mind just so you don't blank on stuff and you're like, oh man, I should've got this point across. You wanna make sure everything is laid out on the table and see what they can do. But uh, yeah, um, if it works, let me know, uh, just because I like knowing that people got, you know, taken care of. Because it's good to hear that people got refunds on things that aren't supposed to get refunded, which is a good thing. But I also feel for the people that just got a discount, like a 20%, like they just threw a little like band-aid, like here, take it, take the L and take this. So let me know, but uh, hopefully this helps guys and uh, on to the next video.